let's continue this tutorial. Let's see the test object. So what we what I did is with this one. So look at this part. So uh, look at here. The source target is 1157, 1159, the same uh, row, row number three and number four. And the look at the time start and time end is uh, 19, 21, not 20, and 20, 20 is just NA. So it means actually 21 is was here and I moved 21 to here and then keep an A. So uh, actually we don't need rows with an A because this this row can represent this row as well. So we try to remove rows with an A with this one. So now we have much better uh, data set. Now uh, convert this data set to network. First of all, let's see the names of node, names of edges. We have these names and to convert uh, this data set to network, we need to use network dynamic. So uh, this uh, require some information. Uh, first of all, this is for uh, uh, time information for node. So when is start, when is end, is ID. Also uh, time information for edge. So uh, uh, when is, what is start, what is end, and then two uh, node data set is about tail and head or source and target. But it has some bug in the in the the R package because so we convert the data set to a network. Let's see. The number of vertices is 1784. But we know the number of nodes is just 75. It's wrong it's because I think uh, our data set with this number ID is, is not start from 1, it start from 1157. So I think this cause a bug, so we need to fix it. So I give some new ID, 1 to 75, and then change uh, edge data as well. So now we convert uh, the data set with a fixed column and let's check. So this net object have 75 nodes. Yes, so that's what we need. And then set up the vertex, vertex attribute. Uh, so we have two of vertex attribute, one is status, one is uh, the other one is color. Actually, actually they are the same one, but it's color for uh, plot, make a plot. So to set up, uh, to set up uh, edge attribute, you know, we can use set edge attribute and same things, but uh, sometimes it cause uh, errors. I make I think it's another bug, so maybe we need to use a trick way. Let's see the, our edge data. So this is our attribute. So we are gonna uh, set up this attribute to pairs. So a little bit tricky, tricky, and also it needs some. It need it need it took it take. Lots of time, but I think it is uh, one of the best way to avoid error. So let's do it. Now, if you run this code, we can find pairs and pairs active. So this one make this line makes 
or pairs, this line makes pairs active. So we I made two kind of uh, attributes. This one is for just attribute. This one is for dynamic data. Uh, and then move to plot. So we already have uh, the the color as a vertex attribute. Let's we have this kind of data and let's make plot. Okay. So this plot net is our network data set and this color and this is a, a size of vertex and the edge color and the display label let's see how uh, maybe we need some bigger space uh, okay, let's see <clears throat> now we have this network from our uh, network data set uh, in, in terms of uh, visualizing this kind of data set GAFI is much easy and uh, and it has um, many options so I recommend you to use Gephi if you want to visualize your data set and let's uh, some make subset network so network extract means I want to make a subset from this time range so that one means uh, time start one to Time time end is 2000. Net two means uh, time range is from 2000 to 4000. Let's see and make plot. This one is for sub subset network. Net 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 one. Next one is net two. We can get this kind of network. And if you want different layout, we need to use SNA library and use this one. Uh, okay, I, I, I we should hold entire code here. This kind of node. If you want to another layout, you can get different different type of layouts for network. And, <clears throat> and if we want to know how many contacts in each time unit, uh, we can use this this uh, code. I'm gonna show you whole code like this one. So this is our, our time range. Let's check the time range. So we can get this one. So this time range. So uh, we want to know the how many contacts it needs how many edges in each time unit so network edge count active we can get the number of uh, number of edges so let's see and to make a better plot uh, I calculate this one this one means so 4320 20 unit means 24 hours so 1980 is midnight for first day so and then 4140 is noon for next day it means Tuesday and then and we make this plot so this is actually about the count context so how many contexts in each unit of each each time unit so it's a red line is it it's a the red line is noon uh, uh midnight it's blue line means noon so it's a first day second day third day and fourth day fifth day it's a friday so as we expected the in around noon there's many contacts in the hospital now let's make this plot by pairs so we have 10 kinds of pairs uh, we can get here like this kind of pairs and try to make 10 plots for each pairs 
So we gonna use this code. It need hours because we have a, a big time range and also uh, we need to run uh, 10 times. So just maybe it depends on what kind of computer do you have. So if you run this one, let's do it. Now we can get 10 plots. Let's get bigger. A little bit small, but this red or uh, red or uh, dashed line is midnight. Blue dashed dashed line is for noon. So we can see different pattern of contacts in the hospital by pairs, right? And now let's move to uh, duration. So duration is one of the, uh, one of the uh, important, the very important factor to analyze epidemic uh, network. So, you know, is a is a the long duration means there's a the high possibility uh, to get to to be infected. So this is to get duration. We need to learn this one. So this is information about uh, the edge. We can find the duration and the, its edge ID. So let's get the make some edge duration uh, object. It's contain uh, time and then duration. Okay. The range of uh, duration is look at here. So one, two, eight, three, eight, eight. And let's make a plot. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I'm going to change some. Yeah, we get plot. So this is a probably this is uh, about this is this is 388. Uh, this we can we could get the, the from the range. And then and then let's make plus by pairs. So maybe maybe we probably want to know about uh, how many uh, uh, what kind uh, uh, we may want to know or we, we may want to com uh, compare the durations by pairs. So let's do it. So to do this one, uh, we I made this code. This code means uh, adding one more column for pairs. So let's do it. So when if you run this code, you can get one more column for pairs, and then makes. Uh, another object uh, which contain time, duration, and pairs and make a plot. Uh, in this case I'm gonna use ggplot2 package. So when we run this code we can get this plot. So <clears throat> So we can find some different pattern of duration by 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 each pair or of each pair. So maybe nurse the has uh, in this case nurse has three hundred thirty eighty eight uh, duration. So this is uh, the end of part one. Uh, in the part two, uh, we're gonna make SI model simulation with this data. Thank you.